Sorry, I, I, I think this sounds super cool. Hello there, you beautiful people. I'm Conco Clem, and today I'm playing Luigi's Mansion. This is an old GameCube game that I used to play all the time when I was like really little. Now, I'm not, I'm not actually using an emulator. I just recently got an AVI to HDMI upscaler, which is something I've been needing for quite a while. So now I can actually play some of the games that I've really liked in the past. That one, new game. If you've never heard of this game, it's a really cool game, obviously. And I think they have Luigi's Mansion 2 for the DS, but I've never played that one. I wanted to get it though for quite a while. Hmm, okay. Creepy, isn't it? The game used to scare me when I was little. It's it's obviously not a horror game or anything, but you know, it's got ghosts. Spoiler alert. I'm playing with the new controller, by the way. Hello. He can talk without moving his mouth. That's talent. Okay. Hmm? I haven't played it in a while, so... I, I remember this. I, I don't think I've ever actually beaten the game before. I don't remember how far I've gotten. Uh... Can't go that way. Um, by the way, I'm not going to do it, but if you try to hmm. open the doors with the spikes, it will hurt you. So it's not a good idea to do that. So spooky. I think this is the only door I can go in. Oh, I can't go in it, but... Oh wait, I think I remember what happens. Spooky. This game got some funky beats. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm playing while standing up. And of course, that's I'm totally stealing from like Markiplier mm -hmm. and PewDiePie. But actually, the reason is I have a bad back and sitting down for long periods of time, it hurts. So standing up is actually better for me physically. Also, it gives me better posture because I kind of slouch when I sit. Uh oh. What's he doing? Uh oh. Freaking sucked him right in the jaw. Okay. Poor guy. Ouch. He only got one tooth. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. Oh, so clever. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Uh oh. He's got a big nose. I wonder if he can hear me. No. No. It's the trio. So your name's Luigi? I think our paths were destined. To cross, won't bet Luigi. Hmm, where's this your house? Are these cozy quarters or where I do my ghost studying? Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're sh a sh of a short name mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? 
sounds pretty fishy to me. Yeah. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Shame. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you, that mansion just appeared a few days ago. That's pretty suspicious. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Use it for Halloween. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? No, it's Mario. The guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. You wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Okay. By the way, if you ever played Super Mario Sunshine and you get the nozzle dude, I don't remember his name, if you noticed, he has the same logo design as Professor Egad's head. Meaning that Super Mario Sunshine and this game are connected. He created a ghost sucking mechanism and a water squirter for like getting rid of his magical paint staff wand thing. If you haven't played the game, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But it's pretty famous, at least. Well, I mean, I like it. Okay, examine, open the door, sidestep. No, standard's the one for me. That's a vacuum cleaner engineer to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change direction. Yeah. On the sucking machine. Okay, that is it. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this, it's the only way you can foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Nothing to fear but fear itself. Or something to that effect. <laughs> well, how about we start your training? Those seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuum time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more the way than you learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. You can hold B to turn the light off. And then press it. I kind of discovered that if instead of just holding the control stick in the opposite direction, if you like kind of hit it, ran, if you kind of hit it a bunch of times, it'll like take away the health a little quicker. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost's heart, that's your chance to vacuum. While vacuuming, take the control stick in the opposite. Yeah, I just, I just did that. I'm so good at this. I'm not surprised. Go start up here, vacuum it with the R button, and the control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Repetition doesn't help. Me. Can I get to it, Tom? Nope. Sometimes we can get multiple ghosts at the same time. Repeatedly. Yeah. Of course, he told me that. When I was little, though, I didn't listen to instructions. You have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light, then when they get close, pow pow. Like a gun. The more the better. Got it? Got it. Some sick beats. Ghosts have to hide in dark places, and no matter who. There, here they come. Oh, son of a fucking dick. Ghost means using flashlight and the pulp. That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Uh, yeah, those are eight ghosts. Go get those ghosts. Did I miss two? I don't know how many there are. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Yeah, let's go to the gallery. It's actually pretty cool. I remember it. It's really fancy. Do do. You know what always creeped me out? Oh, yeah. That 
and I don't know why I'd do it either. This picture frame right here. This comes about at the end of the game. Just letting you know. I only know that because I used to watch my mom play it, but I myself never beat it. You see how these paintings are empty? They're supposed to be ghosts. Okay, let's see. Can I talk to them? Appreciating. Where am I? What's GB horror? Where am I? It's the gallery. It's where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to ghost, turn ghosts into paintings. Whatever that's painful. And I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. <clears throat> well then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Bulasis. But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied all of them to take revenge on me. I used my machine to free Bulasis from the painting, and then they... And then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts, too. As if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night. And then they all hide inside. If I told anyone else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. He witnessed it, though. If my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside that mansion, I just have to get them back. True. There isn't much to see. And, I don't know, this episode may be... A little longer than the others just because of you know exposition and introductory stuff look how shiny this freaking room is i like to suck up all the dirt i used to think i could clean the floor and prevent it from like making dirt but that's not the case unfortunately i'm not a neat freak but like it's just so much dust when he walks The soundtrack's really cool, actually. Are you done? Uh, let's just go back to the lab. The mansion. Okay, time to get the game started. I'm probably just gonna do a little more. And it, it cut some stuff out. Especially that part where my mother came into the room and... I don't know what it is about her. She just... Stands there. Not saying anything, not doing anything. Just stands there. And that's odd. Even my friends think so. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Where's you got Mario? Luigi? Wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh joy. As if he expected him to come. Goodness! Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left and... I only heard you want to mention. Sorry. And he never returned. <laughs> then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. What a shocker. Anywhere. Everywhere. I, could, I didn't see Mario any... My mind is like... And I kind of freaked a little and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, please, please. You have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yay, thanks, Luigi. He made my dark stormy night. And then he somehow, through the power of mushrooms, turns all the lights on. That's science. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. He can somehow have some sort of temporal distortion ability to where you die and you come back. It's almost like you're filled with determination. That was a bad joke, sorry. Don't touch me. And the game is set. Okay, let's see. Sometimes there's like things in things. Also, I want to show you a cool trick. That's the wrong one. This. See, you can like take pictures. For some reason, if you take a picture of a mirror, you will automatically be teleported into the the foyer. Literally, no matter. Ooh, I think this door's gonna open. Oh yeah, you can also take pictures of stuff. It'll give you information. But if you're literally anywhere in the house and you take a picture of a mirror, you will be transported to the foyer, which I actually think is a cool thing to do. Hold on, I wonder if it does it. If I just stand here, it does. Yes. Just yeah, they think they think they can get me. I'm smarter than that. Oh yeah, gold. 
gold's important. When I was a little kid, I, I, I didn't understand that gold was, like, important for some reason. Yeah, of course, it's locked. So, if I, like, got all my gold taken away, I didn't care. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna explain its importance immediately, but, like, it's important for the end of the game. First, let me do this. I don't know why I just like doing it. Oh, yeah. Money! For some reason, ghosts have a lot of money. You're wondering why those candles are purple? I'll show you. Who put out my candles, you Mr. Lime Green? Oh, insulting? All well, dark rooms are dangerous down here. Yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you. Yeah. Now you're in for it. Little girl. Just like Little Red Cat before you. May you wonder, lost in darkness. Forever. This actually used to scare me. Here they come. You can't get me. I'm too good. I'm MLG, bro. I totally got him in time. That's bull. That's bull. If you push A, he'll just like call for Mario. Oh no! What a disappointment. Okay, let's see. Uh, nope. I guess that's everything. Oh, I got to do it from the front. Sometimes he looks like he's fucking humping it for some reason. Another cool thing is that the map will actually tell you where the key is. Oh, and the map will tell you what doors are locked and what aren't. Of course. I got some weird rooms. I don't really know where the enter room is, but I always said to myself that I wanted a house like this monster because I thought it was cool. I don't know why I thought those ghosts would show up later. But yeah, those actually they hurt more when they hit you. That's bullshit. That's not fair. Yeah. I lost some gold just there. Totally not my fault. Sorry. A two for it. We're just so good. Okay. Sorry if I'm just like wasting time, but I'm not. I assure you, money is important, just like in real life. Gold bricks. It was really good. And you can also get like hmm. pearls and gems, but like it's gotta be later on you get those. <laughs> Oh no, I can't want to go. Oh, it's one of the banana peel ones. Yeah, they, uh, have a lot of health. And they suck banana peels, which you can actually slip on. So, I'm getting it. You see, the banana ones, they don't actually directly attack you. You just gotta stop them before they put too many freaking banana peels. I'm pretty good. I was sucking it up, you dummy. Is the heart gone? Oh. Yeah, just in time. There's a ghost in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. They spit out so much freaking money. The blue ones. Come here. 
Come here. Money does disappear after a while. Oh, does it? Yes, it does. God damn it. Oh well. Is there another one in here? Nope, just a lot of money. Which is good for me. That's like a not smart thing to do, because you just show up and you're like, Hey, flash me with your light. There we go. Oh, about 25 minutes I've been recording. Uh, I th think... Wait, did I already get this? I think there's a, um, a toad out here. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for him. How lucky I am that you found me. I feel so much better now. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now. Let's see. There's like an upgrade to the, um, vacuum cleaner that you get later that lets you do stuff with plants. Now, just for... Hold on. No, 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 Hit that. Nothing, okay. Just for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna show you. See him in here? And now, I'm in here. And I'm going to save. And with that saving, I'm going to leave this episode here. I really like this game and it's really fun. It brings back a lot of nostalgia for me personally. And of course, I don't I don't think anyone else has played this game for YouTube. If they did, it was probably a while back. So maybe it's a, a new and fresh thing. So anyways, I am going to leave this episode here and I'll see your beautiful faces the next time you see mine. Bye. And so I